returns are assumed at around 8%. So now if you have a portfolio which has got an asset allocation of 75% on uh, fixed income uh, products and 25% on equity or equity related products, then after 5 years the return on this side kind of a portfolio, 100 rupees will become 154. Uh, 100 rupees will become 240 after 10 years, it will become 591 after 20 years and after 30 years it will become 1504 rupees. Whereas if a similar kind of investment if you, if you make 75 percent as equity and 25 percent as uh, fixed income, the return in 5 years from 154 will jump to 169 on a 100 rupee and the return from 240 will become 287 uh, over uh, 10 years. But look at what happens in, the, in 30 years, the 1504 will become 2499 or, or almost 2500 rupees. So there is almost a 75% increase over a period of 30 years due to just the change of asset allocation. So here the equity investments are 75% and the debt is 25%. Now again, the it has to to be superimposed on the risk appetite on various risk appetite factors like your age, your income. So the young people they can afford because they have more number of years ahead of them to uh, take a little uh, volatility risk. So therefore they can invest higher portfolio in equity related and lower portfolio in debt. And whereas it is the reverse for the people who have, uh, you know, who are nearing their financial goals. So there the, uh, uh, the uh, asset allocation has to be reversed. It has to be more in debt and less in equity. So accordingly, a person has to decide on the asset allocation and accordingly the portfolio asset allocation as we had mentioned that आपको हर समय मॉनिटर करते रहना चाहिए, आपको रीएडजस्ट करते रहना चाहिए आपने पोर्टफोलियो को। सो एस डी एज फैक्टर और एस डी एस वी प्रोग्रेस इनटू द इनटू द पोर्टफोलियो, देवरफॉर डी रीएडजस्टमेंट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड एंड समवेर यू हैव टू बुक प्रॉफिट, समवेर यू हैव टू रीइन्वेस्ट। सो दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स नीड टू हैपन एंड एसेट एलोकेशन व्हिच इज़ वन ऑफ़ द बिगेस्ट ड्राइवर्स फॉर योर रिटर्न और योर लॉन्ग टर्म रिटर्न दैट नीड्स टू कीप चेंजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ द परसेंटेज एलोकेशंस। सो दिस इज़ अगेन वन ऑफ़ द बिगेस्ट एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच वी नीड टू नो एंड व्हिच वी नीड टू हैव अ क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट व्हिच इज़ द कंपाउंडिंग। सो हाउ लॉन्ग शुड आई स्टे इन्वेस्टेड एंड इफ यू कैन फॉर एवर this is said by somebody uh, you know if you, if you uh, uh, you know want to uh, stay, if even if you stay forever invested you'll make huge amount of wealth the magic of compounding is the key to creating wealth so albert einstein had once uh, one point of time had said compound interest is the eighth wonder in the world he who understands it earns it he who doesn't pays it so a person who doesn't know how the compounding works, he will end up paying uh, compound interest on as penal interest, maybe on a bank, uh, uh, you know, default. But he who understands it, he will earn uh, compound interest on his income or investments. So this is just a small little illustration. You know, you would have probably seen uh, 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 or read a story also. Uh, you know, when uh, a person, uh, you know. Uh, 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 he uh, he said that on every chess board, on every chess board of 64 squares, so he'll put one, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 grain on the first and he'll double it in the second, he'll double it in the uh, third and like that, so he ended up, you know, his whole kingdom was uh, sold. So this is again one example. So what if I am willing to sell my car for INR 1 rupee and only with the condition to pay double the amount the uh, next day, for a month. So that one rupee by just compounding it, it becomes double the next day, it becomes double the next day and on the fourth day it becomes eight rupees, on the fifth day it becomes 16 rupees and just look at what happens. So it becomes 214 crore rupees by the end of the month which is on the 31st day. So just imagine the kind of impact the compounding makes. So compounding is one aspect which we need to understand, which we need to, uh, you know, clearly know at the back of our mind that uh, this is the role which the uh, the compounding plays. 
So illustration of having invested INR 1000 rupees through SIP route in Nifty over the periods. So as I had spoken about that, uh, you know, uh, investing in mutual funds is one of the, uh, you know, uh, good or this is one of the uh, 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 means of investment and which is very useful and which is very effective and uh, world over it is one of the most uh, favorite uh, investment instruments. So, uh, regular savings can be uh, uh, achieved through a process or through an instrument in which is available in the market which is called SIP, which is called Systematic Investment Plan. Systematic because systematically every month, uh, you know, you give a mandate to a mutual fund uh, uh, company and the mutual fund then uh, get, uh, you know, request the mandate uh, to be served uh, from your bank on a monthly uh, basis on a fixed date and uh, you keep on investing on a, uh, on a monthly basis, a fixed amount which you have decided in a particular mutual fund scheme. So, what happens, you know, uh, what is the kind of growth? This is a historical thing which has happened till uh, if you invested in a uh, Nifty or Nifty is what? It is a Nifty uh, which is the uh, uh, one of the market indexes, indices and uh, if you had invested say for the last five years, a thousand rupees in a Nifty index fund or a Nifty uh, 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 mutual fund, uh, uh, then this thousand rupees investment in the last five years you would have invested uh, 60,000 rupees, but it has, it would have grown to 83,991 rupees. And uh, over the 10 years, uh, there would have been a 1.9 times growth from 1,20,000 invested would have become 2,23,000. And uh, in 15 years, 1,18,000, 15 years back, so 1,80,000 uh, in over the last uh, uh, 180 months, uh, it would have grown to 4,35,000, almost 2.4 times growth. So this is the uh, the impact or this is just an indicator of what would have happened if you had invested in a nifty index fund. Very simple, this is one of the most conservative and, uh, uh, you know, uh, non-mutual uh, fund, uh, um, fund managers uh, intervention uh, funds. So. Uh, this is one fund which is uh, just an indicator of how your uh, investment would have performed. Now, <clears throat> compounding. So, it works both ways. So, compounding is also about the rate at which the compounding happens. It is also about the time for which the compounding is happening. How many times the compounding happening and how much time the amount uh, gets compounded. So, the cost of delay uh, may cost more dearly and even a significant jump uh, in the amount. So, uh, dif uh, typically what we are saying is that ideally if you want to let's say plan for your retirement say, so if uh, if for ideally uh, for a 30 year retirement you should plan for 30 years. So, if one would have invested say 10 lakh rupees 30 years before and uh, uh, the amount of corpus, let's say the rate of return assumed at 12 percent, he would have received almost 3 crore rupees, 2 crore 99 lakh 59,922. So, if he had delayed his 10 lakh rupees investment by 5 years, so if he had given only 25 years for his money to grow, then this 10 lakhs would grow to only 1 lakh, uh, 1 crore 70 lakhs. So, therefore, there is a short of, uh, shortfall to achieving his goal by 43 percent just because he delayed his investment, his initial investment of 10 lakh rupees. Similarly, a 10 year delay of uh, investing the same amount of 10 lakhs, it would have cost him a shortfall in achieving his goal by 68 percent. So, this is what sh shows that the more time you give to the compounding, the better is the return. So, it is best to start early so that you have a much better compounding impact and the money grows uh, to a much larger extent over the years. Now, similarly, even if you double, for example, this uh, after a 10 year delay, even if you double your investment, say from 10 lakhs, you have doubled it to 20 lakhs, even then in achieving your goal at the maturity, uh, you will be having a shortfall of almost 36 percent. And if you, even if you triple your amount, even then there will be a shortfall of say 3 percent. So, the reason is that you gave your money less time to 
compound. So the time in the market is important and not timing the market. So that helps to create the long-term wealth. So many of you would have seen some of the uh, TV advertisements uh, also that uh, in uh, for the equity investment, it is not very important to time the market. For timing the market, we have a beautiful product which is called the SIP. But it is more important to have spend more time in the market. That means you need to stay invested for a longer time horizon. So the longer you stay invested in the market, the better would be the return and the better would be the compounding. So this is again one of the uh, uh, good slides about uh, wishful thinking. You know, if we just wish and we feel that time is irrelevant, uh, there is a very, very subjective scope, there are no efforts to uh, financial planning, uh, then the achievement of your financial goals, the likelihood is very low. But if you have a goal-based uh, investment, if you have a fixed time horizon, as I had mentioned, uh, you have a specific amount in mind, you have a dedicated plan for that, then the likelihood of achievement is very high. So stop dreaming, start doing, a goal without plans and action is simply a wish. So thumb rules for financial planning. So again, as I had mentioned earlier also, set up the financial goal either by yourself or with the help of a financial planner. Collate all the relevant data required to set up a plan. Data can include your financial objectives, your annual income, spending estimates, loans taken, the expected rate of return in different asset classes, so asset allocation, etc. And then analyze the data uh, which is collected to find out your two, true financial position and appropriate uh, financial avenues. Develop a financial plan taking into account the goals to achieve the current means. The plan will help you draft realistic goals and how to achieve them. Put the plan in action, that is execution, monitor and review the plan regularly and make prudent uh, decisions uh, regarding your money. If required, plan should be tweaked, it should be uh, made relevant to your current financial situation, etc. and uh, the, uh, the required changes may be made. Now, what is the ideal amount to invest? Honestly, uh, you know, it depends on your personal profile, but uh, there can be a small thumb rule. You know, uh, initially, let's say uh, when there are no liabilities, there are no dependents, you know, a person is single and he has just started his career, started his job and uh, he is doing uh, fairly good. Uh, after meeting his current needs or, uh, you know, uh, uh, spending needs, uh, maybe on the rent, maybe on the car, on the fuel or on the uh, food, etc., he should ideally spend 70% of his salary and uh, save and set aside for future needs, say about 30%. And once, uh, you know, he's got a family, uh, you know, he's got liabilities, he's got dependents, then he should spend for the current needs, say around 85%, at least 15% should be set aside for his future needs. So performance of various asset classes, this is something just as a illustration of uh, some of the asset classes, how they have performed over the years. And uh, these are some of the most popular asset classes uh, reigning, uh, ranging from the sovereign guaranteed uh, asset classes like your PPF, your national uh, savings certificate, your senior citizen, citizen uh, savings schemes, bank deposits, uh, which are all your PSU banks and uh, the private banks, and your nifty. So comparison just... Uh, you know, as an illustration uh, over the last seven years is that a PPF is, let's say, giving a 7.8% return, which is again one of the good instruments because here the maturity is totally tax-free. Uh, national savings certificate is 7.8%. Uh, senior citizen schemes, uh, because senior citizens are given a higher interest rate, both by the banks, by the government, uh, is about 8.5%. Bank fixed deposit, 6.9%. And Nifty has given... Uh, over the last seven years, about 12.9% return. So, <clears throat> this is about the mutual fund industry. So, over here, if we look at it, the profile of the number of investors in the mutual fund industry, how many retail investors, they are contributing to almost 91% of the mutual fund investment accounts. And HNI is almost 8% and institutions just about 1%. So overall, there are about 13 lakh, uh, 13 crore uh, 
uh, accounts in the mutual fund industries. These could be multiple accounts for many of the people and uh, therefore uh, this is not an indication of how many people have invested in the mutual funds but almost 13 crore folios or accounts which are there in the mutual industry as on March 22.